Hello everybody, this is the Wanderer. We uh, got some 55 gallon, uh, two 55 gallon uh, drum, oil drums uh, recently and we're going to collect rain uh, from them. So I've already uh, uh, put them upside down and drained uh, the oil residue. I got a little over a pint of uh, of oil out of each one. They had uh, 5W30 weight uh, motor oil in there. Then I uh, put some uh, dishwashing liquid in there and some water and swished it around for a couple of days uh, to remove more of the oil uh, from that. So now we're ready to collect uh, water and what I'm going to do is um, get the top off to make it easier to collect the water. My uh, I had been waiting for the uh, tops to arrive, so these are the the tops, and we'll just put them up here loosely because it's galvanized steel. And uh, then I'll just put a brick on top to give it some weight. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, go ahead and cut the uh, start cutting the top off. So let me. Uh, Put on a few items. Well, I put on my glasses first. I guess the protective equipment. Yeah. Hopefully, I don't get hurt. Let me show you what I've cut so far. Well, it looks like it's coming along here. This is going to take a little bit of a while, so I'm just going to turn off the recording for right now. There's not much else to see, and I will come back when I'm getting near the end. I went on and uh, put on a light welding jacket because uh, getting sparks all over my forearm, kind of hot. Actually, I decided to go ahead and get my uh, welding mask because I'm getting sparks flying into my face.
finally got everything cut off the top. That took a little uh, while, but not a real huge effort. So now, what we're going to do is I'm going to switch wheels and put a grinding wheel in here so we can grind all these uh, edges off here. And, and then I may have to finish it off with a little file there because there's a lot of sharp edges on this side. So that's the next step. Okay, I have already cut everything off, so now I uh, switch to uh, switch the wheel to a grinding wheel, and now I'm gonna start grinding this and uh, grinding off both sides. I finished the, the cutting, I finished the grinding with the angle grinder. Now I'm just going to do some uh, little uh, touch-ups with a hand file. And I'm just going to use this uh, curved file here. Might have to use this, this small round one. But hopefully we can get uh, that finished off. I just don't want people cutting their fingers myself cutting my fingers here. So I'll just work on that for a while. Okay. I think that about does it. I've uh, used the file so I can run my fingers through here and I worry about getting cut. We remove the, the top. When it rains we get a a good target area for the water and then when it's not raining I put the cover back on so I don't have mosquitoes growing in there and I think that's going to be it for the for today uh, this was the first barrel I have one more to do actually on the other side of the house uh, I don't think I'm going to record that it's not going to be any different you see one barrel you've seen them all so that's it for now and I thank you for watching I finished it just in time and we got a good rain later this afternoon.